Hey there everyone. Um, before we get started on this example, I just want to say this is the last problem I am doing in this uh, example series for Mr. Englert's class. Um, so if you have been watching all my example problems, uh, I do just want to say thank you uh, for viewing them. I hope they're a big help. It is really the least I can do during this coronavirus uh, uh, quarantine period, so I hope that I was any help for you. Um, so anyway, let's get started. This is the difference in landing speed problem, and uh, we are ultimately going to be looking for the difference in the two speeds for the balls. So let's go ahead and read through this problem, and then we'll get down our variables and get going. So. This launcher shown below is going to launch one of the balls with an initial velocity uh, in the x direction of 14.2 meters per second. The, the other object, excuse me, is going to be dropped from free fall, and the two ob objects are going to be uh, 1.09 meters above the ground. And yeah, we're going to calculate the difference in speeds. Um, so here's all our variables. Um, I have a couple notes written that I'll go through, and then I have this little drawing uh, to wrap up this video series of a uh, happy ball hitting his target, or their target, I guess. Um, so, first thing I'd like to point out is uh, the speed of an object is equal to the absolute value of its velocity. So if say for example uh, the speed of an object or the velocity of an object is like negative five meters per second then its speed will be five meters per second because it's the absolute value um, so let's jump right in I've drawn out a little diagram here um, and re uh, have written down the velocity in the x direction of a which is 14.2 meters per second um, we're going to try finding the velocity in the y. Uh, we don't know the t yet. We'll get to that. And uh, yeah, we'll just go through. For b, the initial velocity in the x is 0. The t we also have to find. And the height is 1.09 meters. So what we're going to be doing first with b is using the uh, h equals 1 half at squared formula, since it's going to be in free fall. And so we're just going to go ahead and plug and chug 1.09 meters equals one half of the uh, gravity which is 5 times t squared. We're going to divide both sides by 5 and also take the square root and get rid of that exponent. So t is going to be equal to 1.09 divided by 5 and the square root of all that. So 1.09 divided by 5, take the square root so the time is going to be equal to 0 0.47 seconds. And let's box up our answer. And now we're going to find the uh, velocity, the final velocity of V. And we're going to use the uh, VF equals VI plus AT formula. So the final velocity we want to know, the initial velocity is 0. Um, minus uh, the gravity, which is 10, times the time, 4.7, or 0 0.47, sorry. Um, and we're using the negative value here because uh, the gravity is pulling in the downward direction and we're dealing with velocities, so we're going to know, we're going to have to know which uh, direction we're going in. And so that is going to be equal to 4.7, or negative 4.7. I was getting ahead of myself up here. Um, and since this is a velocity and we want a speed, we're going to take the absolute value of this to find the speed for b. Oops, let me redo this. Speed for b, which equals 4.7 meters per second. And so we have that speed, and now we're going to find the uh, 
speed for a. So we have the time. They're both the same. They're both going to have the same time since they're falling uh, the same distance. And so the velocity in the y is going to be equal to the same velocity in the y as b, since they both have the same time, they're under the same acceleration, and they both have the same height. So it's going to be negative 4.7 meters per second. And the speed is the absolute value of that, so it's going to be 4.7. And um, so the initial speed that we want to find for a is going to be equal to the square root of the speed in the x direction squared plus the speed in the y direction squared. This is the same formula if you recognize it for the initial velocity. Um, we're just going to be using uh, speed and it works the same way. So the initial speed is equal to the square root of 14.2 squared plus 4.7 squared. And if I plug things into my calculator here, it's going to be, uh, the initial speed is going to be equal to the square root of 223.73. And that, my friends, is equal to 14.96. Meters per second. All right, we're nearly there. Home stretch. Let's box up this answer. So to find the difference in speed between A and B, uh, we all know what that is. It's going to be 14.96 meters per second minus 4.7 meters per second, and that is going to equal. 10.26 meters per second. And that is our final, or our, the difference in speed, which is the answer that we're looking for. So we're going to go ahead and plug this into the website and see how it turned out. Alright, so enter your name. And the speed difference, 10.26 meters per second. And we're going to click on the balls to uh, initiate their launch. This one's taking off real fast. And it's going down. And there we go. We predicted 10.26, and the final uh, answer was 10.3. So we did a good job. Our answers are correct. Um, hopefully yours are correct as well. Uh, let me know if you have any questions uh, via my email in the description. And uh, I won't see you on the next example, but I thank you for watching my little series. Uh, I plan to release further videos in the future on different topics, so feel free to uh, follow this channel, uh, like what you see. Please continue to watch, and thanks for reviewing this little series.